Well, ladies and gentlemen, the NBA schedule is now out. I have my plate set up for a beautiful slate on Christmas, a beautiful slate on Veterans Day, a beautiful slate opening week, a beautiful slate throughout, you know, January and February and March, you know, leading up to March Madness. And then, you know, the final couple weeks of the regular season. That's just how that's just how I do it with the NBA, you know. Uh, Veterans Day is kind of special this year because, you know, Gonzaga and Michigan State are playing uh, on an aircraft carrier. So I'm going to be watching, you know, the games on Veterans Day um, during that week, you know. Uh, or rather the one game on Veterans Day during that week. And then, you know, opening week, those eight games, going to be a lot of fun there. Uh, Christmas gonna be gonna be hard it's gonna be hard you know with the way uh, the NFL is doing it this year you know with you know having a triple header on Christmas Day but I think you know with the star power the NBA can fight off the NFL it, it won't they, they won't win obviously they won't win the ratings battle but they'll at least get something decent out of it you know and then you know um, weirdly enough, you know, MLK Day too. Uh, I'm gonna be watching some games on the MLK Day and everything like that. The only, the only, the one only weekend that's kind of weird is the uh, the week of the NFL divisional round. There's like no national game scheduled during that weekend. Uh, keep in mind, I usually watch the NBA during the weekend, so you know, um, yeah. Uh, so you know, gonna be gonna be gonna be a crazy slate this year. I can guarantee that. You know, with the way things go, um, of course, you know the Gold State Warriors are the defending champs, but a lot of things have been going on in the off season. Um, a big one is DeAndre Ayton. We had thought he was gonna go to the Pacers, but he ended up staying with the Suns. The offer was matched. James Harden got a new two-year deal with the 76ers, and the 76ers are going to be moving to a new arena in like a decade, but I mean, that's a decade off. And then today, you know, literally today, LeBron James signed a two-year, nearly $100 million extension with a player option uh, for what, 2024-2025 with the Lakers. And... You know, the NBA delayed the release for so long because of Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving who have interest from just about everybody. And then you also throw in the guys like Donovan Mitchell. But really, the big storyline this offseason has been Durant and Kyrie. You know, also keep in mind the NBA is not putting any games on Election Day, which is wild to me, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, that, that, that's another quirk in the schedule. Uh, it's gonna be real, again. It's gonna be real intriguing this year to see what the NBA does. Sorry about the sun glare um, in the camera and whatnot, but it's gonna be real interesting to see what the NBA does throughout the year to try and keep fan engagement. Uh, there were times last year where you know I was just like, uh, I feel like watching this game today, and I'm just not gonna do it. But I think. I think with the way some of this new blood coming in, the NBA, you know, Bancaro, you know, and, and guys like them, you know, it, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be real intriguing, it's gonna be real interesting to see what these young guys can do in their first year in the NBA. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of guys that I've completely forgotten about. You know, uh, since you know, April, since the end of April, with the whole. Uh, uh, with the college basketball and the national championship and stuff like that, but uh, free agency, it seemed like, you know, it was quiet for the most part, like the big names are big names and they're still like being speculated about, but I mean, some teams have addressed some things, you know, like the Mavs have addressed some things, you know, uh, the Heat, you know, some, some of these teams have addressed some things and um, they, they're, they're better off for it, you know, especially the Mavs, you know. I'm not sure what the Lakers are going to do this year. Let me tell you, um, they're in a. I mean, don't get me wrong. Signing LeBron back is, you know, signing LeBron back. Like it's, it was probably going to be inevitable at this point. 
but the, the question with the Lakers is, is what in the world kind of pieces can they build around LeBron? You know, because the pieces they have were dysfunctional last year. You know, they were very dysfunctional. Davis, Westbrook, dysfunctional. A dysfunctional team that couldn't even make it to the playoffs. You already know the NBA is going to shove the Lakers down our throats. So the Lakers, you know, they and the Knicks, they're going to shove the Knicks down our throats too. And they're doing that, you know, throughout the year. But who knows? Who knows how things are going to go as we, you know, continue to wait till October. When I come back with the NBA, it will be October. It will be that October, you know, that weekend or that, that week not not weekend a week uh, about a week before opening opening week you know I'll be back with the NBA and I'll be doing videos throughout the season um, usually like a month or so you know usually it'll be like a month or so in between videos so you know just be aware of that uh, I might do something in September but I don't know I don't feel I don't know if I'll feel like it but I mean in any case uh, what do you think about free agency? What do you think about the NBA schedule? I know, you know, there isn't as many, you know, crazy things about the schedule as it is, you know, last year. Uh, no, wait, no, 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 no. I'm talking about like two years ago. It was like 72 games. Uh, but it's, it's not as crazy as it is. It's kind of a normal schedule. You know, we'll see what the Bucks can do. We'll see, you know, what the Suns can do. Oh, dear Lord, what, the, what in the world are the Suns going to do? We'll see what Boston can do. Because, I mean, that, that's definitely a team that's improved in the offseason. Um, and everything like that. It, 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 it's going to be a lot of surprises this year, I think. I, gar I guarantee there's going to be surprises this year like there are every season. And, you know, uh, the... Play in tournaments here to stay as well, which I don't particularly like, but I made my grievances with that, and I've just got to let it go at this point. We're gonna keep, the NBA is gonna keep the play in tournament too, which is which is wild. But in any case, um, I'll see y'all on Sunday when we talk. You know, some lacrosse and to wrap it up for the PLLCs and, and athletes unlimited and stuff like that. So. Uh, see you Sunday night. Take care, everybody.